just 60 days left for JE Mage 2026. And I know many of you are searching for the perfect roadmap, the best strategy or the ultimate plan to prepare in these final months. How to crack JE? What chapters to focus on? How to manage boards? How much to study to get that 99 percentile in your JE means January account? To clear all your doubts, I have Shori in this video, your senior, who will guide you on each and every point which we have discussed now. So without any further ado, let's switch our cameras to Shorya. Hi Shorya. Hey Saru. So right now your juniors uh, are preparing for the JE means and two months is left. Hmm. Uh, so as you scored, just give your introduction to them, what you will be guiding through the video. So over to you. Hello everyone, I'm Shorya Malik. In 12th grade, I did not score that well in JEE, so I decided to take a drop. But even after 8 months of prep, I was anxious, underconfident and unable to score in my mock tests. But in the last 2 months, I devised a strategy and worked hard on it. And in the end, I was able to grab that 98 percentile. So I am going to share some tips and strategy based on my experience so that it can help you guys get your desired percentile. And most importantly, Take the first attempt seriously because it's the attempt where there is less competition and higher chances of you scoring more. Correct. So now they are preparing for the JMNs and they have two months. Hmm. So as you have also mentioned, you have changed or uh, made your strategy in the last two months. Is it really possible for them uh, to prepare in this last two months and secure good percentile in their JMNs? Yes or no? Uh, I would say yeah. Two months can be enough to score a 99 percentile provided you have covered the basics of the syllabus and your foundations are solid. Then maybe it's a good time to start problem solving and sharpening your weaker concepts. Although it might feel a little difficult at first, but with the right approach, it's pretty much possible. Cool. So now you're saying it is possible. And now for everyone who are watching this video, this will be the structure of the video, like whatever is being mentioned, uh, you can see over here as pointers. First, we will be starting with the specific overall strategy subject by strategy and then we will also cover how you can manage your boards and JE together. So let's start with the subject by strategy, uh, right, sorry, yes. over to you. Let's start with physics. Cool. In recent years, physics have gone from being a difficult section to an easy to moderate one. A lot of formula based questions are coming. So the best strategy for physics is continuous problem solving and formula revising. First, solve all the PYQs from 2021 to 2024 then give 2025 as mocks. Also, there are some high weightage chapters like electrostatics, current electricity, optics and thermodynamics, which you should cover first. Like almost seven to eight questions come from these chapters only. For your reference, here's the list of the important chapters. And in the last two months, try to revise as much as you can. Refer your short notes if you have them. And if you don't, you can find revision notes on any website. I would suggest that you at least know the basics of each chapter. Don't go deep, but your foundations must be solid. Because sometimes what happens is, there are mixed questions. Like, there would be a question from optics which will have gravitation concepts used in it. Although the formulas used will be very basic and simple, but you won't be able to solve that question if you haven't revised properly. Therefore, as I mentioned earlier, revise as much as you can in these last two months. Cool. Now let's go to mathematics. See, maths is a difficult and lengthy section. We all know that. So my recommendation would be that you cover the important chapters first. Try to solve their questions and PYQs. Then only move on to the next ones. Here's the list of important chapters. In the last two months, especially in mathematics, give 90% of your time to problem solving. Because see, there aren't many formulas to revise. It's all about question practice. The more you solve, the better you become. Also, there are chapters like 3D geometry, vector algebra and matrices which are important and easy as well. And another thing that I wanted to share is the paper attempt strategy for mathematics. Go through all the questions in the first 5 minutes. Mark all the questions that are doable as marked for review. And in the remaining time, try to solve only those questions. Because in mathematics, it is highly crucial that you manage your time effectively with accuracy. You must not solve the wrong questions, the questions that you are not confident in. By following this strategy, you will select those questions which you can solve, which are doable beforehand. Cool. Now let's go to chemistry. Okay. So chemistry. 
See, chemistry is the most scoring subject of the whole examination. Usually what good students do is that they cover chemistry section first, then move on to the next ones. In general, it takes 40 to 45 minutes to cover it. The section has direct questions for which you either know the answer or you don't. That's why it's easy to cover up fast. And as always, here's the list of important chapters. Uh, one very important thing that I wanted to share with you guys is, please, please don't skip NCRT. Because there are many questions that come directly from NCRT. Uh, at least do read the NCRT for organic and inorganic chemistry. You can leave physical chemistry out of it because it's mostly calculation based. So, as I mentioned earlier, read every line of OC and IUC before you sit for the exam. Okay, cool. Now we have covered all the subject wise strategies. Mm -hmm. Now the next step is the importance of mock tests because you also mentioned in your like uh, strategy, you mentioned about mock tests mm -hmm. and all. So what is the importance of it? And I also remember like from my preparation and from making a lot of videos discussing with students, mm -hmm. what I realized is most of the students prepare well, mm -hmm. but because of lack of solving mm -hmm. good or not solving a number of mock tests, yeah, they yeah. don't make their paper attempt uh, clearly, right? Mm -hmm. So what should be their paper attempt strategy as well? So if you can put a uh, light on this, if you can share. Yeah, yeah. See, we have just 60 days left for the exam. So it's highly essential that you start giving mock tests from today onwards. That is the only way you will learn about how to attempt the paper in general, what mistakes do you usually make and how can you avoid them in the future exams. Also, I would suggest that you give 2-3 to three mock tests per week. You will sometimes feel that you aren't able to score well in your mocks, but that's okay. Mock tests are designed to be on a little difficult side than the actual JE paper. One very important thing is that try to solve the mock test in 2.5 hours rather than 3. Because in the real exam, you will be under a lot of stress and pressure. So, by following this strategy, you will be able to manage your time effectively and tackle that stress. And I would suggest that you do your own research before purchasing a test series. Because, see, in the market, there are many irrelevant test series available that is irrelevant to the JE exam. So, decide and then purchase. For me, in particular, I use the test series of Mathon Go, but you can use any one of them. Cool. So now this is done. Mm. How to solve the DPPs mm. and PYQs more mm. effectively mm. for uh, their JE mains preparation, which will mm. help them. Mm. So you can highlight that. I used a very simple method to solve PYQs effectively. Whenever I solved a DPP, module or PYQs of any chapter, I would set a timer of 1 or 1.5 hours. Then I would solve all the questions in that time. After that, when the timer is done, I would see the solutions to those questions which I either missed or wasn't able to solve. Then I would try them again on my own. By doing this, it will help you improve your problem solving skills under time pressure. Now a student who is preparing for JE, what should be a typical routine? Mm. How much to study? How many hours to spend? Which mm. subject to study first? And mm. all, like if you can share it. Yeah, that's a good question actually. First of all, when you go to bed at night, make a timetable and a to-do list for the upcoming day. Divide your day into different time slots. Like for me, I used to wake up at 7 a.m. Then I would study mathematics for three hours, then a one hour break, followed by a three hour physics section. In the afternoon evening period, I would give a mock test. Lastly, a chemistry section to wrap the day up. Also, please ensure that you take regular breaks in between to relax your mind and body. Uh, and another thing that, how do you sit for two to three hours straight? For that, there is a technique that I used to follow myself as well, known as the Pomodoro technique. What it says is that set a timer for 25 minutes and focus without distraction in that time. Then take a five minutes break. After five minutes, set the timer again and repeat it seven to eight times in a go. Also ensure that you don't scroll Instagram or YouTube in that break because it may lead to distraction and procrastination. Correct. So yeah. from this only, we uh, our next question is also similar. Mm. The mistakes. Yeah. Because a lot of students uh, face themselves like, okay, they're friends are studying much more mm. better than them. Yeah. Uh, they might have very less motivation to prepare. Mm. Right. So there are several scenarios. So mm. what are the common mistakes that a student does mm. at this point of time? Mm. And uh, this is on your experience, your friend's experience, if you can share 
Hmm. What are the common mistakes that they can avoid? I would say that there are two mistakes that one should definitely avoid. Number one, not planning your preparation. When I gave my first attempt, I did not have a plan. I did not know which questions to solve, what should be my timeline, and how to cover the entire syllabus. I did not know any of that. So, as I mentioned earlier, plan your day and week in advance. You should be clear on what you are going to do. Clarity is important. And um, number second, not focusing on problem solving. It is a common mistake that we all make. I did too. Uh, we often think that attending lectures, that we have attended lectures, we have read all the notes. So it might be enough for us to score a good percentile in JWE. But trust me, that's not it. If you want something to permanently settle down in your brain, write it as much as you can. Practice it as much as you can. That's the only way that you are going to do something good. Cool. Hmm. Now, a student like who is preparing for JE and all, uh, this is a very important thing because boards are also coming up yeah. along with JE first attempt. So, how should a student preparing for JE who want to score well about 99 percentile should manage both boards hmm. and JE together? Hmm. If you can share that because you have scored well, so hmm. it will be very relevant for them. In my opinion, it's not that hard to manage what boards and JE as well. I will tell you why. There are two things which are most important in boards. What you write and how you write it. See, if you have prepared well for JE, you already have the knowledge. You just have to convey and write your thoughts on paper. For that, you can refer to the previous year question papers of boards examination. There is a website called Educart where you can find all the PYPs and their respective marking scheme. So, first try to solve all the questions on your own, then refer to their solutions. By doing this, you will actually know how to write the answers in the exam. I myself used this method and was able to score good in boards as well. In English, even if you study for one hour daily in the last month or so, you will be able to score quite good in that as well. As for the fifth subject, it is usually quite easy, so no worries in that. I know that this is a tough time for you guys. You will have stress, anxiety, and you will be unable to cope up sometimes. Some of you might even feel depression and feel like giving up. But you know, that's how life is. You have to go through the tough times in order to become a better version of yourself. Remember, the best men are created in the worst times. So now, this was the entire strategy video for your JEMH 2026 first attempt. Now, if you have liked the entire strategy, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel, and also if you have any further doubts or you want to discuss with Shorya, then his LinkedIn will be linked in the description. Along with that, if you want to explore Scalar School of Technology, where your senior Shorya studies, also explore Scalar School of Technology's link linked in the description and pinned comment. Make sure you share this video with all of your friends, and if you are watching until the very end, comment in the comment section that watched until the end and if you have any further doubts you can also ask in the comment section that's all for this video thanks for watching all, all the, the best, best.